Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money. What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review the show Money. No, it's not called Money. That's what I call it. But I'm here to review the show Riches. This is season one. I'm reviewing episodes three and four of Riches. It comes on Amazon Prime, and you need to check this show out. I am in love with this show. Listen, I just love this show. The writing is good. The acting is good. The people look great. That beautiful chocolate skin. The the uh, wealth and the prosperity is just just lovely. It's just so inspiring. Listen, just watch it. I just like looking looking at their homes, their apartments. Listen, let me tell you something. I one of my goals in life is to have an apartment where I have floor to ceiling windows. You seen Gus's place? You seen Nina's place? You see those big windows? That's what I want. I now I have a my living room. I have a big window. It's big, but it's not floor to ceiling. I'm grateful for it. My apartment is nice. It's beautiful. But I'm telling y'all, I'm speaking it to it into existence. My next place, y'all gonna be like, damn, Ty, Ty, you. You, you, you work for Flay and Glory too? Because I'm telling you, my next place going to be hooked like that. I'm speaking it into existence. I'm telling you, I'm going to be doing my reviews. You're going to see this beautiful. And it ain't going to be no um, Zoom backdrop or no green screen. It's going to be the real. <laughs> it's going to be the real thing. But anyway, what's up, y'all? This is Ty. Shout outs to my lovely subscribers that hold me down. I'm, First of all, we have to give a special shout out to T Trisha One because let me tell you what she did for me. She has more subscribers than I. She's been on this YouTube thing doing it for a while. She shared my platform on her platform and told the good people of, of YouTube, hey, come on over and subscribe to Ty. He is just 46 people away from getting a thousand subscribers. And I said, thank you for that. So if you came over here because of T. Trisha, I thank you and I do appreciate you and I appreciate all you doing. We're going to keep this channel going and growing, right? That's what's up. Um, so shout outs to my other subscribers, Karima Khadija, the folks that watch this show. I'm shouting out the ones that have been watching this show with me and um, leaving comments in the comment section. So like I said, shout outs to you, Karima Khadija. Shout out to June BLC. House of Sir James, Savannah Rivers, um, who else? All the rest of you, I've, listen, don't take it personal. You know, I'm a little forgetful, but all the rest of you who have been leaving comments on this on this show and telling me your thoughts on the show, thank you, thank you, thank you. A brother does appreciate it. And listen, don't stop. You can leave comments down here too. Now, I got a funny story for y'all. I know y'all saying, Ty, what, what took you so long to get these videos up? Let me tell you. I watched the entire, the remaining season, the episodes three through six last night, right after that, did the videos, um, did the reviews. I split up. I did episode, I reviewed episodes three and four and then five and six in separate videos. I watched the videos back today. Mm, let me tell you. I'm a, I look, it was ridiculous. And presentation is everything. Y'all would have been mad with me. I was umming and on and looking down and doing all this. It was too much to edit. So I said, you know, I'm just going to start over. That's what I have to do because I didn't like the way I was like looking down. I kept looking at my notes. I mean, it's one thing to glance at the notes, but it was like, it was real bad. It was embarrassing. So I'm just telling <laughs> So I had to do it over. That's what taking me so long. I had to do them over. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing the video, the review over and cutting to the chase because I was just, it was ridiculous. You know, I ramble a little bit, but still it was ridiculous. So now here I am. Let's get into this episode three and four. Um, episode three is titled Black on Both Sides. Episode four is the Master Tools. Now, Claudia and Dre got this romance and this relationship going and i'm saying to myself you see claudia telling him you stay on gideon and you get these things done and i'm saying to myself what is this relationship is this really love is this lust is this claudia getting her groove back because she is an older woman and i'm like what does dre want with this old bat no diss to her because she is a beautiful woman she's a beautiful old bat she's still old bat i call her old bat because she's an evil woman <laughs> and i'm like is he really feeling her or is this just a business deal? And vice versa, we could say the same thing with her. She's just getting some, but she's using him to do her dirty work. So now here's the funniest part. Claudia 
you are not in charge. But, you know, she she's up here holding a meeting at Flair and Glory for the um, face of Flair. And that's this campaign where they select a new model to help run the things to help promote the company and the cosmetics and who they're trying to figure out who is who and what is what. But the nerve of her, how are you having a meeting and not letting Nina know? So Nina walked up in there like, hold on, what, what's this? And then she's talking and she's like, yes, and it's going to cost five hundred thousand. Uh, hold on, five what? Who told you? Nah, we ain't got it like that, bro. Nina had to shut down. She said, first of all, I'm the head and I see up in here. That's what she said. She said, I'm the head and I see up in here. She said, hold on. Nothing goes through without my approval. You think you're spending that much? She said, okay, everybody that ain't family, out. Dre, you stay. Everybody else, out, out. Everybody out. And so she mentions, she told him, listen, everybody out, everybody out. She tells everybody, get out, that ain't family. And she dropped that bomb. She said, listen, 20 million pounds is missing. All right? We ain't got no money to be playing like that. Money is missing. So don't play with me. Money is missing. I was like, get him, get him, get him. And of course, Claudia being Claudia, she's not, she don't trust her. How do we, how do we know what's really going on, this, that, and the third? That was interesting. Now... The funny part, the things that made me laugh on that, y'all see me look down at my notes, imagine that 30 times in one video. So the funny part <laughs> I liked was when they were advising Claudia and her children, like, listen, now Alicia, her, her stuff is all paid for, this, that, and the third. Wanda, you may have, to, was it Wanda or do I have it backwards? One of them, they told them, you're going to have to move in with your mama. Yeah, it was Wanda. You have to move in with your mama. Alicia's pretty good with money. She's good. Her place is set. Gus, sir, enjoy that place now. But you, things keep going the way they're going. It's going to be, uh, uh. Now, silly Claudia decides to tell the board, the shareholders, about the money issues. And that makes Nina live it. And Nina, I love this, when Nina paid her a visit, she said, you know, if you would have just kept your mouth shut, she said, because you're doing more harm than good. You're trying to mess me up, but this messes us up. And you could, and then uh, Claudia was like, get out of my house. She said, you keep this up, you ain't going to have a house. <laughs> when she said that, I fell out. I thought that was funny. Now, let's focus on... Um, this focus group that they did about the flare thing. So Nina did a focus group and this was very interesting. And this is what I like about this show because they tackle issues, racism, they're tackling colorism. And I'm getting to that because they did this focus group and it seems the people, the good people of the good British people, they're not feeling the company anymore. Somebody said, Flair and Glory, that's still a thing. That company's still around. So Nina's trying to bring to her attention, listen, the focus group is saying something. We're not connecting with the people. And also, this image here, you know, we got these light, bright, mixed women representing a black company that's targeting black audience. And some of these women are feeling alienated. This is what really surprised me. Claudia and all her beautiful, melanated skin beautiful chocolate woman was like, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. She's all for having the face of a black company be a mixed woman and a lighter woman, which, you know, we have those issues of colorism in, in the in our community. And it's like so disappointing to see that because it's like, is that a little bit of self-hate up there, Claudia? Because how are you as a beautiful dark skinned woman yourself saying, listen, this is what sells. Just put somebody light up on there. No, it should be representing representation of all of the women of color, all of them. That's what it should be. So I'm like, that was kind of corny and disappointing on Claudia's end to me. So like I said, that was very disappointing uh, for me, for Claudia. But, um, you know, she don't care. She just wants to come. She wants to do it her way. But what was funny was now Nina was like, you know, Nina flexed on it. She said, well, you won't be making the decision on who's going to be the face. I'll make that decision because I'm the one that's in charge. All right. And that pissed her off. It's like, oh, but I thought that was funny. Then we have um, we also seen in this episode, we still see Claudia and Wanda trying to get into that safe. What is in they, that, that man's safe that he left behind in Stephen's safe? What's in the safe? They're trying to figure that out. And um, 
Wendy's having these, not keep saying Wendy, her name ain't Wendy, it's Wanda, right? Wanda has these issues. Um, she's upset. Her boyfriend, Luke, notices it and she tells him that, you know, someone stole some money. They're supposed to be keeping this in wraps, keeping this quiet. You know, why are you mentioning it? This one mentioned it to the board. Now you mention it to your boyfriend. And I'm sitting there saying, you can't trust him. It was something about him. I was like, she can't trust him and she shouldn't trust him. Then a bombshell happens. Davina, with her cute self, she gets accused of the, the IT done found out that the deleted files, the files that was deleted, was deleted from her account. Davina didn't do that. We saw Maureen do that. And, you know, ever since I see Maureen in the last episode looking sneaky, deleting something, I haven't been trusting her. I had my eye on Maureen. I was like, nah, this Maureen is a, tr a sneaky one right here. She's not to be trusted. And I'm saying all that. And they done set up. Uh, Davina, and Davina's like, looks over at Dre, Dre, help, because you know, she's sleeping with him too, and it was like, nope, you're going to be suspended pending this investigation, this is a criminal matter, and I was like, wow, interesting, very interesting, um, that was interesting, then we see Gus, Gus has a little crutch on that young lady, he bought her this nice piece of jewelry, she had to let him know, bruh, I'm not for sale, which I thought she was overreacting. But, you know, I thought, well, take the, what is wrong with you? Take it. She was like, she came in, returned it. What do you think this is? You could just use your money, blah, blah, blah. You tripping, relax, take the bracelet. But I guess, I don't know. To me, I thought she was overreacting. We are now at this beautiful uh, gala for the face of uh, Flair, who's gonna be the face of Flair? Are we gonna pick the light-skinned mixed-race girl? Are we gonna get a chocolate sister? What are we gonna get? I would say maybe they should choose both. That's what I was thinking. Or, you know, just mix it up. It should be, we, we come in many colors, you know? But we'll see what, what's gonna happen. Um, we think this is gonna go smooth at this event. Nina confronts Maureen and was like, Maureen, you went into Davina's account. Gotcha, bitch. It was you. <laughs> so she asked, she says to her, she says, I want to know what's going on before I expose you. What's going on? And I was like, I don't trust Maureen. Maureen looks very sneaky. And I was like, I'm really not trusting her. So she said, you need to tell me what's going on. Then that's when she finds out that Stephen was sick and that he was going to Zurich. And for some treatment, the man has cancer. That's what she found that she was deleting some things that may embarrass him. And I'm like, but nah, I still was like, something is up with this Maureen. I'm still not trusting her. And I'm not liking how you let Davina take the fall for this. So speaking of Davina, we at the gala. Everybody looking good. Uh, Nina's about to give her speech. Davina came in there like a scorn woman. Coming, came in there, blew up the spot, had the cell phone in her hand, was like, uh... Went over to Claudia and the children and told it all. Told the children, you know that um, <laughs> Dre's been banging your mama, right? Claudia was like, get him out. She said, look, I, you know, I got the password to his phone. He, look, you, when you want to see your mother with her legs up in the air, carrying on. No, she didn't say that. But, you know, she said, listen, it's all right here. I got the messages, everything. Gus was so disgusted and embarrassed knowing that his mother was tipping and dipping with Dre. He sucker punched Dre. So now the event done turned into more focus on the drama of him sucker punching her and Claudia being a hoe. And, you know, that her children looking at her like, oh, my mother's a hoe. Guess what? We always do this about our parents. Why do we think our parents are saints? How do you think you got here? Your parents was tipping and dipping. They were young at some point or whatever. But I guess, you know, it's your mother. You tipping and dipping with this man. They're giving her all these bad uh, they're upset. And I have to agree with Alicia when she said, fall back off mom, back off of her. Because listen, what you think daddy was doing? He'd been banging up. Listen, he, listen, he'd been tipping and dipping too. So don't just do, come on. And I agreed with her with that. It's like, don't, don't, don't do that to her. But it was sure funny to see that. And <laughs> uh, Nina picked who she wanted to pick to be the new face. And the other girl got up, stormed out. She was pissed off because she just knew she was going to get it. So it's all this drama at the event. But the good news is despite all that drama, sales are up. The public is taking a liking to the new face, the new model 
of flair. So that was good. That was great. And we find out that there is another shareholder. We find out who that secret shareholder is. But guess what? The secret shareholder is that dude, you know, the dude that Nina's been sleeping with and messing around with having that secret, I ain't gonna tell you my name type of stuff. Just come over here, give me what I need and get going. That's who the secret shareholder is. So I'm like, oh, so I'm, to me, I'm thinking, okay, so Nina has the home court advantage, you know, but so yeah. So that's how that episode ended. And then we go into episode four, where products of, uh, you know, the sales are up, things are good, but we're having an issue. And that issue is with distribution. And I did, you see some unity for a bit, for quite a bit. You see Gus and Nina working together as a team, trying to figure that out. Meanwhile, while they're trying to figure out the distribution, Claudia is up to something, as usual. Claudia is comes up with this idea of selling some shares to this company, the um, this company called the Colonizers. No, it's not called the Colonizers. It's called Ultima. Ultima is a bigger company, and she wants to get the shareholders to sign on, agree to have Ultima come a part of this, and if that happens, they take control, and then they have the company back. But the bad thing about this is with those big corporations, when they take over companies and they say, oh, yeah, nothing's going to change, let me tell you, everything changes. I've worked for two companies where they were bought out by another company, and they come in there and they smile. Yes, I was blessed to keep my job, but things change. Those people that were at the top, they eventually get pushed out. The name slowly changes. That happens. So when Nina would tell him, listen, that's that's not going to be a good look for y'all. It's not going to be a good look. And so when Nina finds out that the dude she's been banging is one of the shareholders, she goes to him and he's like, I had no idea. She thought like it was a setup. She said, you knew about this whole thing. You've been dealing with Claudia, but and you know I me. Mean? He said to her, listen, you're the one who wasn't telling me your name and keeping secrets, not me. But I'm thinking, okay, she still may win because, you know, he kind of likes her. So he said, nah, it's business. I will, I will vote based on presentation. So this episode, we've seen, I love this fight in Nina. We've seen Nina, you know, fighting, trying to do, you see her trying to persuade the remaining shareholders. Things are not looking good. This episode was tense. I was like, okay, this is episode four now. It was tense. I'm like, damn, I hope she gets the vote she needs. We go down. On top of that, this article comes out. Oh my God, this article comes out trashing her and all this it, that's a bad look so you know the shareholders are nervous because they think about the money 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 they get into this conference room a time to vote i'm like it's gonna go well for it has to people are voting they're for it they're for it or for it of course simon and nina are against it and they were able to turn wanda wanda was like she's against and then they were like yes it's saved and i was like okay this is this is too neat this is too neat. I knew I was like, nah, something else is going to happen. And what happened? Claudia says, there is another shareholder, secret shareholder. And she's on Zoom right now. They brought that laptop in. Why is it Simon and Nina's mother? And why does she vote against them? And so now Claudia has control. <sighs> Yet again, Nina was pissed off. Nina stormed out. She said, you know what? All right, I'm resigning. But, you know, she said, no, this is ridiculous. But she also found out some information. And she's like, you know what? While she's, her and Simon kind of got into it a few words. She said, you know what? I, I have to figure something out. So she heads off to Zurich to figure out. And that's how that episode ended. This was really good. I really enjoyed episodes three and four. So tense, so much fun watching this. Like I said, just looking at the scenes, just like all this, the city and the beautiful apartments and the beautiful homes that they have and just how well-dressed they are and how they look. I'm like, that's what I want for myself. I enjoyed the episode. You tell me your thoughts. What did you think about it? Um, 
What do you think about this series so far? Are you having as much fun as I am? I'm having a lot of fun with this show. So listen, I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to come back and give you my review of episodes five and six, which are the two final episodes of this show. I just didn't want to do it in one video. I didn't want to make the video too long. Boy, you too long. Too long, you know how, and you know how I get the rambling. So that's it for now. Leave your comments down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it, and I will see you all in the next video.